How's it going today, folks? We are taking a look at the distillation towers today. Pryro and regular distillation tower, both built the same, both work the same. So we're going to do them together in the same video. So you will need your controller, which if it's the distillation tower, will need... Non-nuple stainless steel fluid pipes all the way around a distillation tower part. And if you're doing the cryo, it will be non-nuple copper fluid pipes around the distillation tower part. So in total, you will need 71 tower parts for each distillation tower and nine heat transmitters. So we're going to be able to build the cryo here, and this is a 3x3 three three structure. So you need a 3x3 three three base of the heat transmitters, your controller dead center, bottom layer, and then start building up tower parts all the way up eight layers um, input only goes in on the bottom layer of the tower parts here um, you cannot put like for the cryo here where you need air you cannot put the uh, vent on the parts as they are not tile entities you'll need to put them on a pipe like I did so there and then all of your outputs straight up the very back where you see this pipe sitting here. Down here. And you'll notice these holes will form. That is your auto output. And let's go on down here. So this one is now running, outputting air. If you have a solid output, it'll be the very bottom one. Uh, any fluid outputs will be the second to the very top. Dense to least dense uh, is how they come out. So your liquids will be at the bottom, gases at the top, and like I said, items come out the very bottom one. Um, you need uh, 64 GU a tick, so heat units or cryo units, depending on which you are using. Uh, it is automatically overclocked, so all recipes will be 64 so for this I need 64 CU per tick and then for the regular distillation tower it would be 64 heat units per tick you can give it up to 1024 so the recipes here so 64 H units HU for the distillation and you can do biomass and oil um, you will have solid outputs for oil so you'll need to hook it up to get the asphalt and the paraffin wax out of it if you have filters you can use uh, quad or nanopole fluid pipes like I have here to make it look a little bit cleaner and then you'll just put filters on your tanks or wherever you're sending out your fluids to. If you do not have aluminum yet to make uh, filters, you'll need to use uh, single pipes for each output. For the uh, regular distillation tower, you can use anything that puts out heat, um, including... Uh, let's get past the red wire here, including heat exchangers, burning boxes, 
Like we have fluidized burning boxes here on the corner uh, or just a heater if you choose. For the cryro, you will need one of the thermoelectric uh, coolers, which I have an MV1 right here that is running it. So that is the distillation towers. I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, any problems, let me know, and I'll be glad to help you out. Have a good one.